All right, so playing this at half speed again, just so I can explain things a bit better. These levels move really quick. It's kind of hard to explain everything while the level's going at full pace, so I just edited it down to 50% speed. But I'll show you the full speed video after we get through this. If you get lucky and you get the early parry from the flying cow, you can take the next couple out that show up. They'll usually show up on the opposite side of the screen, or say if Esther's on the bottom, they'll come through the top, so you can avoid them and just take them out early if you want to. Usually they're two or three apart. If you get really lucky, you'll get uh, two parries in around three of the flying cows. The dynamite can be quite easy to dodge. You just kind of need to sort of swing to the right of it and then through the middle of the second two. With the snake oil, you can kind of predict where it's going to go just by watching it splash on the side of the screen. But just stay far to the left when she's using it. Look out for when she uses the lasso, and then you can avoid the cactus quite easily. You kind of need to keep an eye on her for when she reaches back. She usually does that when she switches sides. She'll either do the snake oil or the lasso. Uh, so just watch out for those. The snake oil can be kind of annoying if you're trying to dodge a bunch of other stuff. But that section's not too tough to get your head around. The patterns are pretty easy to learn. For this section, what I like to do is get close to her by using the, uh, oh, it's the parry sort of thing in this, or the dodge, like the dash thing that makes you small. Get close to her and then save up the super meter so you can hit her with the big rocket, just because you're invincible for a few seconds after it hits her. So even if you miss that, you can sort of take a second to sort yourself out to make sure you don't get hit. This is a good place to get your parries. I like to get one parry in the first phase at least, and then one in this phase. You can get two in this phase if you get lucky. If you feel like you're getting overwhelmed and there's a bunch of stuff coming at you when you're doing this part, just use that shrink down mechanic to easily evade stuff. Not only are you much smaller and harder to hit, but you move quicker as well, and that's really handy. I also saved the super meter up here again to hit her just as her head goes down because she spits out the stake and that can catch you off guard really quickly. And like I said, after you use that big super, it gives you a couple of seconds of invincibility just to regain yourself. If you're going to go above the beans here and the string of beans comes out to hit you, if you haven't got a lot of space, I'd recommend shrinking down. Same as the stake, just shrink down. Try to keep damage on her, stay on her side of the screen, but... What you kind of want to do is either shrink down and go under the beans or over the beans or go on the side where the fan is holding the tin of beans up. That section really isn't that hard. This last one is the tough one if you ask me. Keep hitting her until you get another full super meter so you can hit her with the rocket. And I, tr I tend to try and shrink down when I'm flying through the string on the sausages and you can get easy parries here as well. There's a lot of parries going on usually. This bit does kind of suck. Took me a few attempts to get this done, no damage. Um, but yeah, if you if you are in trouble, even if you waste your super like I just did, using it can just stop you from taking a hit, which is uh, pretty useful. As providing you've hit her with a couple of those already, you won't need to worry about getting any more for the A plus rank. You got to keep damage on her because you need to watch the time. You can't let the time go up too high because that can take away from your rank. So yeah, just keep. Keep the damage on her. Shrink down if you need to go through the sausages. Sometimes she spits out tins of beans from the last phase during this phase. I don't know if that's some sort of glitch or if it's meant to happen, but it does happen sometimes. It's happened to me a few times and it can make things really difficult. I think it tends to do that if you're spending too much time on the top or the bottom of the screen. So yeah, hopefully those tips help you out with this fight. Let's take a look at it in normal speed and uh, see what it looks like. Definitely a tough fight. The only plain fight that you've got in the DLC. You can see how much faster everything is. It's so hard to explain anything to you guys while all of this is going on. Memorizing the patterns is definitely a massive thing in this game. Looking at the snake oil and where it's going to hit the screen, it does kind of lock onto you, so if you go to the top of the screen, it'll splash back on the top of the screen so you can just kind of put it where you want it to make it a little bit easier on yourself although when there's so much stuff flying around the screen it can be hard to get it in the right place and figure out exactly where you want to go a lot of the time you're just trying to keep yourself safe i feel like the first time you do this bit with the vacuum it can be 
kind of difficult, but once you get your head around it and, you know, if you feel like you're in trouble at any point, just shrink down so that you can easily maneuver around the objects flying at you. It's kind of tough, man. But like I said, after learning what exactly goes on, it's not too difficult to figure it out. When she does the safe part, you kind of want to aim for the bottom half of the screen just because that's where she sits, although it's difficult to do that, so you might want to go up just to avoid stuff. Keep an eye on how long it's taking you to do each phase because that can screw you out of a, a good rank which can be pretty annoying if you get everything else done and it's just the time that messes you up that phase isn't too tough with the flying stakes like i said this one for me was the most difficult to get through without taking damage just beating her is easy enough but the a plus rank was definitely not an easy one for me to get again just using that rocket there to stop myself from taking damage because i could see it was going to happen Making my life a little bit easier. Nearly done then. She's going to die soon. Getting those easy parries. Lots of parries in this section. Sometimes when you dodge in between stuff, it can look like near impossible to do that. But you'd be surprised when you get used to doing this. How good you get at just dodging stuff. So there we go. That's the A-plus rank on Esther Winchester. It has to be under two minutes. Obviously, you got to keep your HP. I think... Miss Chalice just has a standard of 4 HP, but I want to do these no damage, so I'm not using that to my advantage. But if you are going to use that, you can take a hit and still get the 3 out of 3. Yeah, so that's about it. I'll see you next time. More videos will be linked around in the description. Thanks for watching, and yeah, see you next time.